Hi there, I'm Tony Johnston and welcome to MyGolfShow.tv. MyGolfShow.tv is a dedicated web vodcast that brings you a world of golf travel direct to your computer desktop or laptop every month. It is everything golf, from spectacular courses, beautiful hotels and resorts, the best travel deals, and we'll have some fabulous giveaways and competitions. It is all right here. Now, I can't possibly do that all by myself, so I've enlisted the help of some golfing buddies. I'd like you to meet Nicole and Kylie, and together we'll bring you the very best golf travel experiences, hot deals, tour specials, and some amazing money-can't-buy golf experiences. It's very exciting, bound to be a lot of fun, and hope you can join us for the journey. So what do you reckon, gang? Set to go? Sure are. Right, Let's hit the go. fairways. As Australia's premier holiday destination, the Gold Coast has it all. With more than 70 kilometres of coastline, 26 patrol beaches and calm inland waterways, the Gold Coast is a giant aquatic playground catering for almost everyone. The young at heart chasing an endless summer and perfect wave, families looking for adventure with thrills and spills for all, a quiet retreat for those whose needs are more earthy and seek the peaceful retreat of the hinterland and rainforest. And for those of us who yearn for the challenge of the rolling fairways and manicured greens. Yes indeed, the Gold Coast is the most diverse holiday playground in Australia. And its reputation and strength lies in both the natural and man-made experiences. Scenic and peaceful on the one hand, and yet fast-paced and active on the other. At the heart of the Gold Coast is the world-famous surface paradise. This surfing mecca has lured tourists here for more than 60 years. It's easy to see why. The sun, the surf, the sand and the people make the place so intoxicating. But Surfers Paradise has another name. It's also referred to as Golfers Paradise. The Gold Coast has the largest concentration of private, resort and club golf courses of any region in Australia. And as a testament to the popularity of the region and championship quality of the courses found, many of the country's most prestigious golfing championships are played on golf courses here. The Lynx Hope Island hosted the Johnny Walker Classic, the Pines Sanctuary Cove hosted the Qantas Australian Super Skins, and Royal Pines Resort has hosted the ANZ Ladies Masters for the past 21 years. The Gold Coast experience is much more than you would expect, and here's a rundown of some of the fabulous courses available for you to play during your stay. At the northern end of the coast, you'll find Gainsborough Greens. The course is surrounded by 230 hectares of unspoiled natural beauty and encompasses a fauna and flora sanctuary which is home to a mob of eastern grey kangaroos. You'll be captivated by its quintessential Australian charm. The course opened in 1990 and having hosted the Queensland PGA in 1991, 92 and 1993 is recognised among the elite courses in South East Queensland. Despite its lofty status, Gainsborough is the type of course that social players will really enjoy. The course is not so difficult that it deters the high handicapper, however the exacting layout makes for a challenging day for all to enjoy. Nestled between the golden beaches of surface paradise and the natural wonders of the Gold Coast hinterland lay the region's only 27 hole composite golf course, Royal Pines Resort. This five-star golfing resort is divided into three nine-hole layouts, all of which boast championship quality and offer a different experience. With undulating terrain that promises to challenge your every stroke, magnificent greens, beautifully tree-lined tight fairways and bunkers that demand respect, Royal Pines Resort is the golfing encounter you've been waiting for. The Colonial Golf Course opened for play in 1992. It's characterised by beautifully groomed fairways and meticulously manicured greens, which are widely regarded as being among the best on the Gold Coast. A farmland once home to dairy cows, weeds and bush has been transformed into a beautifully groomed golf course with lush fairways and well-presented greens. The 6,424 metre par 72 champion resort layout meanders its way through 39 hectares of towering eucalyptus, picturesque lakes and serene waterways. 
Flowering native and exotic trees and plants abound, while ornate bridges cross watercourses in which luxuriant water lilies jostle for space. Off the course, the stunning Queenslander-style clubhouse welcomes both golfers and visitors alike. Wide, breeze-catching verandas surround the building, offering wide views over the golf course and the Gold Coast hinterland. The Glades is one of the Gold Coast's premier golf courses and is a par 72, 6,420 metre championship course that spans 65 hectares of land. The course layout was designed by former world number one professional golfer and Australian sporting icon Greg Norman and is typical of his trademark aggressive layouts. The Glades boasts superb agronomy that is unique to the area. In particular, the greens consist of a new type of creeping bent grass that offers a true putting surface and is the preference of professionals and amateurs alike. This grass ensures a superior putting surface for the entire year and promotes a precise ball roll and delivers true putting lines on the putting surface. Another feature on this magnificent course is the trademark Greg Norman bunkering. In total, 98 bunkers over 18 holes. In his design, Greg not only had the vision to create a challenging golf course, he also retained nine hectares of pristine wetland area, which creates a natural wildlife sanctuary and diverse ecosystem within the confines of the course. A round of golf at the Glades is one of those very special experiences where once is never enough. The name Nicholas has long been associated with greatness in the game of golf, and situated in the geographical heart of the Gold Coast, the Lakelands Golf Club is Jack Nicholas's first signature design course to be built in Australia. Lakelands is like no other. Its sheer beauty and stunning course design features can only be described as inspirational. Multiple tee positions make this course very user-friendly, yet challenging, whatever the standard of golf you play. Nicholas has used extensive bunkering in his strategic course design, and as the name Lakeland suggests, water features heavily on many of the 18 holes. There's plenty of room for error, however, especially from the tee, and as is typical of Nicholas's design work, much of the intrigue and strategy comes from the approach to each green. Lakelands is a true golfing experience and one that you will remember long after the game is over. Another must play on your visit to the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast also hosts a number of Australia's biggest amateur tournaments, including the Mitsubishi Masters, the Audi Australian Four Ball Pro-Am Championship, the Radisson Four Ball and the final of the Golfer Pacific Best Ball Competition which is contested throughout Australia and New Zealand. From the moment you arrive at any of the Gold Coast Resort courses, you know you're in for a treat. You drive up to the clubhouse bag drop and a staff member greets you and whisks your clubs to your awaiting golf cart. It's always time to hit a bucket of range balls or enjoy coffee before teeing off. The pro shops are adorned with the latest golf fashion. More and more golf carts now come fitted with GPS systems. While they don't tell you what club to hit, they can give you exact measurements to bunkers, hazards and of course the pin. Standing on the first tee, you know you're in for a treat. The striped fairways remind you of those major tournaments you've seen on the TV. The fantastic conditioning of the courses mean you rarely finish with a bad lie. Water features abound and have a habit of stealing your golf ball, and the signature holes remain with you long after you've left the course. After the game, your golf bag, which after losing a few balls is slightly lighter than when you first started, is taken back to your car so you can enjoy the clubhouse facilities and well-earned refreshments. Better still, if you booked your golf through one of the registered tour operators, it is more likely that your private transfer is waiting to take you back to your hotel or apartment, ready for the next instalment on your holiday. With so much extraordinary golf to be played here on the Gold Coast, you'll need to bunk down somewhere that is convenient and comfortable. Plenty of options when it comes to that. The Gold Coast allows you to choose the style, location and level of accommodation to suit your individual holiday needs. Indulge at one of many luxury hotels, stay for a while in some of Australia's best apartment resorts, or forget about the world in a hinterland retreat. The region's year-round weather ensures an unforgettable stay, no matter what type of accommodation you choose. There's a variety of specialist golf tour operators that can help you plan your Gold Coast holiday experience, offering dedicated package tours. The Gold Coast Golf Pass also provides discounts when playing three or more of the resort courses. So check out the mygolfshow.tv website for the best deals on a Gold Coast golfing holiday or event experience. So there you have it, a brief look at some of the golfing destinations and playing opportunities just waiting for you here on the beautiful Gold Coast. Popular with everyone, the Gold Coast is a lively, 
welcoming and warm environment which aims to please everyone. I'm off to the first tee and I hope to see you there. This golf tip brought to you by Drummond Golf. There's no doubt that the long bunker shot is one of the most difficult shots in golf. Instead of using your traditional sand wedge from here, where you have to pick the ball very cleanly, try using your pitching wedge. Once you select your pitching wedge, you just want to play a regular bunker shot, hinging away steeply, entering the sand a couple of inches behind the ball, allowing the sand to carry the ball out. Using your pitching wedge in this situation should get the ball to carry a little further, it won't have as much spin on it, so it'll release back to the hole. Try it out, I'm sure it'll improve your results. Thanks very much, Kari. That tip, thanks to Drummond Golf, they'll lift your game. This golf tip brought to you by Drummond Golf. John Eales is one of Australia's all-time rugby greats. In a career that spanned a decade, the former Wallabies captain played a total of 86 tests, including 55 caps as a skipper, and accumulated 173 test points. These days, Eales is firmly entrenched in the corporate world as part owner and director of the John Eales Five brand, which deals in corporate hospitality. He is also a consultant to the BT Financial Group, as well as being a Fairfax columnist. And through all that, Eels has maintained a healthy appetite for golf. He spoke to me exclusively for MyGolfShow.tv. And I learned very quickly that a stand-up interview just wasn't going to work. Hi John, thanks so much for chatting to us today. It's now, pleasure. how great is this golf course? I had a quick look around yesterday afternoon and it is really a little piece of heaven, isn't it? It's a wonderful course. Uh, look, I, I love the way I first played here when the, the Wallabies, we were staying here in Coffs Harbour. Right. And uh, if ever we had a, a moment or an opportunity, we'd, we'd come and have a round here at Golf at Bonville. It really struck me as just being such a beautiful part of the world. But the, the golf course is really cut in amongst that beautiful part of the world. It, it doesn't interfere with the beauty of the place. And I think when your golf is not necessarily too good out there on the course, it's good to be able to turn to things that are beautiful outside and uh, and certainly when you're on a course like this you see that. If you could choose four players to play with on a round of golf, who would it be and why? Look, I think you'd want to play with the best mm. and, and the best of the last few years has certainly been um, Tiger Woods, so playing with someone like Tiger would be great. You know, someone who had been just outstanding in, in history uh, as far as golf was concerned. So. Also the guy who's won the most championships, Jack Nicklaus. Mm. And uh, probably on top of that, I want someone that I could beat too. Yeah, someone that, uh, so I wouldn't just be the worst person out there on the, on the course. So, And someone that would also be very interesting, who might that be? I don't know. Does Nelson Mandela play golf? He might, he might play and he be might better do. than me, I don't know. But uh, You could just take him for the stories and for the good conversation maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like someone like that would be great. Now what's your favourite course? Is there one course around the world that you will always remember to this day? Yeah, look, I was very fortunate to play a lot of great courses and some great ones in, in Ireland at Port Marnock and places like that. But, but one of the ones in Sun City in, in South Africa, one of the ones I remember more than most, and I can't remember the name of the course, but, but I remember playing there, was in Uruguay in Punta del Este. Um, and it was this course which reminds me a lot of Bonville actually because there's a lot of exceptionally tall trees, very straight, the fairways are basically cut in amongst these tall pine or whatever trees they were. But it, all, all you saw every hole was these beautiful trees and it was just an extraordinary experience playing in that course. If there's one prize you could win, what would it be? Well, for me, it would be either the, the British Open because it's, it just has all that history. But, but, but uh, that, that, yeah, you'd be very happy to win that. But uh, probably the US Masters. Uh, because as a tournament, it really, it was the one that first captured my imagination as a, as a young guy growing up watching a bit of golf. And also the fact that no Australian has ever won the US Masters mm. is, is, yeah, we, we would be great to, to win that. And the history associated with the green jacket, I've got the yellow Sudoku jacket, so there you go. Uh, getting the, the green Masters yeah. jacket. John, thank you so much for being our very first celebrity guest here on mygolfshow.tv. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Mm -hmm.